so hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover another amazing lab and this lab is recently updated and many of you are facing issue so here is the updated solution for it click on start lab and open the cloud console incognito window now here it is getting signed in automatically sometimes you may be prompted to enter the username password for that check the lab for it now click on i understand now here just click on i agree and agree and continue after that do one thing just activate the cloud share because we will be needing it in the next step of this lab as of now you can minimize it and from on the search box you can type vertex ai let's click on continue on the cloud shell here we have clicked on continue now authorize also here minimize it and from the navigation menu just open the vertex here so just open the vertex here and click on the workbench it will take few seconds to open now basically many of you are facing issues like the jupyter lab is not opening or the files are missing so here i will tell you how you can get it fixed so what you need to do first of all you need to just click on the checkbox on the jupyter lab and on the top you can see a reset button is there just click over it and you can see after few seconds it will start showing resetting you can see resetting instance wait for the instance to get ready and then we will execute the next steps of this lab so just wait it we take 10 to 20 seconds so you need to wait for it until the jupyter lab is ready like previous so you can see it's ready in my case you have to click on open jupyter lab now sometimes what happens you get unnecessary error and you are unable to open the jupyter lab in that case close it come back over here refresh the window and just click on the open jupyter lab it will initiate a fresh session and you will be able to open the lab sometimes due to lab resources issues it takes longer than usual time to open so waiting the for lab. few seconds so wait for it. one to two minutes we got this jupyter lab open now click on the terminal scroll down and click on open terminal now come back to the github repo copy it this repo is present in the description box of this video hit enter and wait for few seconds a file will be loaded here you can see the file is now loaded you have to click on the version 1 file and just click over it just do as i am doing in the video now wait for the kernel to get idle basically we have selected python 3s kernel so just wait now the kernel is now blinking and it's idle now now just click this play button and it will start installing the sdk now again click the play button again like in this section you have to just click on the play button do not execute the project id one that is task number 1.3 wait for the kernel to get idle i hope you have clicked on ok now after that what you have to go click on run selected cells and all below as i have done in this video it will take some time once the kernel is idle you can move ahead for the next step so finally you can see the kernel is now idle now let's check the score for task number one So if you follow the way you will get the score now for the remaining tasks 2 3 4 and 5 what you need to do you need to come back again to the github repo and first of all if you haven't initiated the sss session you can initiate copy from the github repo like this the number 2 command come back to the github repo if you haven't activated just click on it it will activate the cloud shell now let me increase the font size first of all you don't need to increase the font size now just paste it now these command you have to paste so it may take up to 10 to 15 minutes so you need to wait for it and once it's done we have to just generate the recipes for the two tasks and you will definitely get the score if you have followed the way i have done now if you're new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel
now once the urls are ready we have to just click on them one by one let me show you how we have to click it may take few seconds so wait for it you have to just click on the streaming running at and available at click on this come back here click on here again and once you have to click on it now wait for these two urls to start and app to get loaded so basically here we have to generate the recipes and once the recipe is generated we'll move forward to the lab instruction and check the score so just wait basically we have to select the recipes you can select anything and then wait for a few seconds click on generate now sometimes you may get attribute errors for that case you have to come back to the cloud shell and rerun the app or just re reload the process again come to this second one and just select the correct one you can select any one recipe and then click on generate recipe once both the recipes are generated you can see it's generated here for the second one it's generating so once both of them have been generated now come back to the lab instruction and check the score for each and every task and you will definitely get the score and in case you haven't subscribed the channel do subscribe it and check the description box for other skill patches and labs if you need any other tutorial you can comment down below i'll make it as soon as possible so finally we got the score and we are done with the lab guys do like the video and subscribe the channel